Well, welcome to our ongoing series of dinner keynotes. Just a couple of months ago, I think we were here uh, to listen to a very inspiring, fascinating tale of how a large corporate giant recovered from a series of disasters that we call the perfect storm. And we listened to John Schefter with Imperial Sugar. Today, we go to the other end of the corporate spectrum. We're going to listen to the ultimate entrepreneur's entrepreneur. And I'm talking about Kanwal Reiki. In fact, he was the founder of Thai, and therefore could be called our original Indian giver. <laughs> Kanwal's venture capital firm. It's supposed to be funny, guys. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe I bought that joke from Dr. Kaborki. <laughs> Kanwal's venture capital firm, Inventus Capital, has generated over 30 billion, yes guys, that's billion with a B, 30 billion in aggregate wealth and market value over its 15 years. His telecom software company, Exelan, he co-founded in 1982, and it was sold to Novell Networks in 1989. And under his leadership, it grew to become the second largest software company in the world by 1994. He was named Entrepreneur of the Year in 1987 by Arthur Young Venture Magazine. He's a relentless mentor who is achieving, after achieving his phenomenal success, turned his attention to giving back, and giving back he has. He's been a major donor to his alma maters. He's given $5 million to Michigan Tech for a new computer sciences facility. He's also given $3 million to IIT Bombay, so he's a fellow IITian. He's given to IIT Bombay for the Kanwal Reiki School of Information Technology. In, in, and in addition, he's given another $5 million to the Foundation for Excellence, which identifies bright but poor students in India and pays for their college tuition and living expenses. So as part of his giving back, even though we're not paying him for it, we're thrilled to have him in Thai Houston. Ladies and gentlemen, Kanwal Reiki. Very generous, yeah, introduction. You know, I, I have three different thoughts in my thing, and, uh, and I'll read them together at the end. So when I arrived here in the U.S. in 1967, you know, the U.S. was at top of its game. You know, you know, we were about to put the man on the moon. You know, we had done that. Uh, the actual man on the moon happened in 1969, but but yeah, we were almost there. You know, there was a in Houston was the city, you know, this is where the action was, right? And India was at the bottom of its day. You know, there was a famine in India in 1965 and 1966, and the U.S. Uh, Congress had passed this one law, PL-480, public law-480, to sell to India the wheat on a transactional basis, you know, on rupee trade, you know, on rupee basis. So, you know, our image was very, very poor when I arrived here. You know, the Indians were nice guys. Uh, you know, they have a democracy, it's a sham, but it's a democracy. <laughs> yeah, and, but they can feed themselves. And uh, when I arrived uh, at Michigan Tech, you know, a solid Midwestern school, a professor, you know, first day said, I like Indians, but I want to make sure that you don't fall behind. And I want to you know, make sure that you have all the help. You know, yeah, I'm sure you're not going to be able to keep up with our first world education here. And uh, so I want to help you. And don't be afraid to come and talk to me. And if you have to, you know, need some help after hours, telephone me. And he picks up this telephone. This is your telephone. <laughs> <laughs> and this is how we use it. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, that was the, the image we had. And that's what we had to put up with. But you know, you have to, you know, Put up with that one because you know that was the real world. So a month into that class, you know, we had what I discovered was shotgun quiz. You know, where you put your stuff down, you know, have this uh, surprise test, and uh, so that surprise test, uh, I aced it. I aced it. You know, it was uh, easy, I thought. And the prof uh, professor tells me after the class, he says, nobody was supposed to ace that test. It was supposed to be way beyond the material we have covered. And I want to remind you that we don't cheat in America. <laughs> 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 you 
the image around the cheats here. That was one part of our image at the time. And at that time, he had the shotgun, which he stood right behind me for a whole hour. And I, I asked him, Dave, what is that? And he says, that's Dave Rosenberg. Yeah. And I said, that's Dave Rosenberg. And he said, that's Dave And he says, if you're cheating, you're very good at it. <laughs> <laughs>